And we got one midget turned over between three and four. Jason Leffler, who raced with us on several occasions this season and raced throughout Pennsylvania. Be remembered one more time as the field passes by in the missing man formation. How about maybe the man starting seventh? How about fast Freddie Raymer? Well, we're going to find out because, ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Dietrich to the lead at the start. Schaefer around the outside. Dietrich back in front. As they head into turn number three, Dietrich hard into three. Here comes Schaefer right behind him. Dietrich will lead lap number one. Watch the race between Blaney and Marks for fourth place. Blaney the low rider, Marks the cushion rider. Brent Marks goes around Blaney for fourth. TM. Deweese ducks under Tim Schaefer. Let's see if he can hold the spot. Schaefer tries to duck back under Lance. Lance will have none of it. Lance going to the cushion. Dietrich stuck behind the lap car of Jim Siegel. Will try to slide him this time and does. Lance Deweese moving in on the leader. Siegel back under Dietrich. Lance Deweese closing on double D. 18 laps down on Dietrich. Deweese knocking on his door. Schaefer close third. Marks fourth. Blaney fifth. Brent Marks tries to get under Schaefer on the backstretch. Can't do it. Meanwhile, the leader working into turn number four in the last lap. The 48 of Danny Dietrich has won the all-star feature of Williams Grove. This has got to feel especially good tonight. Yeah, listen here. Um... You know, it was definitely for Leffler. Um, you know, I, I didn't see anything the other night. I was in his heat leading, and uh, it hit home ever since, you know, and uh, this was for him. Well, I think he'd be, he'd be real happy for you tonight because uh, you were holding nothing back tonight. No, I was uh, – we were going for him to get good. That was my plan all night long is just to drive like an, about half like an idiot, you know, because uh, I wanted this one pretty bad. Um, be a first repeat winner and get one for him. Um, yeah, it's just pretty remarkable. I knew you did. Just a reminder for the folks, as we told them a couple of times tonight, you guys were selling the Leffler stickers at your car. You were offering $5 from every T-shirt sold. So I had a feeling you wanted this one. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I didn't know Jason a, a, a real well, but I know that when he came to PA, um, he greeted me, you know, uh, like any other individual and uh, as professional as he could be. Uh, you know, you pass him in the pit he always smiled, you know, uh, always uh, – noticed you and, and said hello, you know, and uh, we're going we're gonna to miss him, you know, and I didn't know him that well, but just uh, the impact that he left is uh, pretty remarkable on everybody. Here we go. Green at the exit of turn four. We're underway. Jackson leads Arndt into turn number one. and tries to put some distance between himself and the rest of the field as they run down the back stretch. Bunching up inside the top 10, Jackson will lead lap one. Jackson way out in front. We've got one up into the guardrail and turns three and four and it turns over and the red will come out. Now two to go. As Jackson continues to hold sway, the race will be for second here in the closing laps as Arndt and Gargiulio continue to race for the second spot. White flag waves, one to go on Sean Jackson. Meanwhile, Sean Jackson will point the car off of the fourth corner and pick up the victory. Brett Arndt will finish second. 
and PJ will finish third. And this race was all Sean Jackson off the front row. Yeah, we've had nothing but trouble with this car. We've been closed a couple times, and I guess they say you gotta lose them before you can win them. But I, I'm at Williams Grove in victory lane. I can't, I can't be any happier right now. We didn't have any trouble with this car tonight. It started, it won a heat race, and it started up front in the feature, and it stayed there. And really, at no time, even on those restarts, you weren't challenged. It's, it's really hard to know if anybody's on you or not. You know, you're, you're just trying to run smooth laps and keep, keep running the same line. So I had no idea if anybody was there or not.